So now, let's see how to work with fill in the blanks question inside of Adobe Captivate. To work with fill in the blanks question, I'm going to go to the slide section right over here and then I'm going to choose question slide right over here. Once I choose question slide, you can see that fill in the blanks is there. So I'm going to have, let's say, one fill in the blanks itself. So that's fine. So it's graded as you can see right here. So you can choose it to be survey or a pretest right here. But in my case, I'm going to keep it graded right over here. OK, let's just choose around two questions right over here and press OK. So once I do that, you can see that there is uh, the two blank slide right over here. So there's question one and question two right here. Of course, you can change in all of the text as you want. But over here now, I'm just going to type in the sentence right over here. So I'm going to say captivate is made by so I'm going to go around here and type in company right here so over here the answer is Adobe so you can also add in multiple answers over here so in case one of them is correct then they're accepted as correct you can also make it case sensitive right over here just like this or use a drop down list for the answer as well so I'm just going to go around and use input for this one as you can see over here so this is going to be my first one right over here it'll be there you go so now I'm going to go around over here onto the quiz option and here I can set the number of points let's say this is going to be five points and penalty for wrong answer one point right over here just like this you can change the numbering as well, just like this. And you can go for mm, other options over here as well. And on success, of course, I want it to continue. So I'm just going to uh, just leave it all as it is. On the second option right over here, let me just add in. So Photoshop is N, okay? So I'm going to go over here and I, I'm going to type in tool. And in this case, I'm going to do a drop down. So I'm going to say photo, uh, manipulation tool photo manipulation tool so I'm going to uh, just add in a drop down for this one right over here and I'm gonna check this out I'm gonna add in another option over here and I'm going to say photo management and I'm going to go over here uh, not photo but image okay image 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 downloading and another one over here. None. All right, you can also shuffle the answers. So that's usually what you want as well. So I got two questions as you can see right here and in quiz. I'm gonna give it five points and I'm uh, gonna give it one penalty points right over here. And of course, here is the result right over here. I wanna set up the pass marks as 40%. So I'm going to go around into quiz, I'm going to go around to quiz preferences and then set up the pass grade as 40%. So I'm gonna go over here on to pass or fail. And this is going to be 40% right over here, just like this. All right, there you go. So 40% right over here press ok so now i'm going to preview this out so i'm going to preview out the project so let's see how it looks like right over here so now you can see that i got the blank slide in the beginning i forgot to delete that out but anyways you got this captivate is made by i'm going to say adobe right over here it's not case sensitive and I'm going to press submit it says correct click anywhere to continue and then I get to my next option right over here so I can use a drop down as you can see so I'm going to say Photoshop is an image manipulation tool submit it out and it says correct and then I'll get to my result just like this as you can see and that is how you work with fill in the blanks question inside of Adobe Captivate so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe